Today, I will introduce to you ways to connect sounds to make speaking easier. Let's get started! Hello everyone, my name is Lavon, an IELTS teacher at Lango Learning System. As you all know, when learning any foreign language, learners also want to speak fluently like native speakers. But to master pronunciation skills takes time and practice. Today I will introduce to you ways to connect sounds to make speaking easier. Let's get started! In English, there are three types of sound connections. Consonant to vowel, vowel to vowel, and consonant to consonant. In some cases, we will see sound connections in the form of contractions. The first type is linking consonants to consonants. Linking two consonants is a way of connecting sounds in communicative English. We connect two words that end with a consonant and start with a consonant that sounds the same as the previous one. If we try to pronounce both sounds, it will be very difficult and, of course, we'll stumble. We should remove one syllable and pronounce a single sound for both of the words. Here are some examples of linking two similar consonant sounds. Cheese sandwich cheese sandwich, get tattoos, get tattoos, breathe through, breathe through. We can link two different consonant sounds like this, and v, a number of vans, a number of vans, d and t. We need more sugar to add to it. We need more sugar to add to it and g. My father has thick glasses. My father has thick glasses. P and b. I sleep better if the room's really dark. I sleep better. Linking consonant to vowel. This consonant rule applies when the previous word ends with a consonant and the next word begins with a vowel. We'll link consonants before the vowel of the word of the following, as shown in the following words. An elephant, an elephant, an alligator, an alligator. These are, these are. Craig bought an oyster, Craig bought an oyster. Linking vowel to vowel. We have a type of sound connection between two words that end and begin with a vowel. When this is the case, we will add a y or w sound between the two words. We will add a y sound in between two words when the first word ends with the following sounds. The long i sound like in i. The e sound like in he. The A sound like in stay. The OI sound like in enjoy or boy. Here are some examples for this case. I answered. I answered. Enjoy it. Enjoy it. He asked. He asked. Stay in. Stay in. The boy is. The boy is. In cases where the last sound of the preceding word ends in one of the following sounds, we will add w between two words. U sound like in do. O sound like in snow. Ow sound like in how. Here are some examples. Snow is cold. Snow is cold. Go in. Go in. Do it. Do it. How odd, how odd. In addition, we also see the phenomenon of sound connection in contractions that native speakers often use, such as going to, gonna, want to, wanna, got to, gotta, kind of, kinda, sort of, sorta, let me, lemme, give me, gimme. What are you doing? What you doing? 
you, yeah. Bet you, betcha. All right, this is the content of today's lesson that I want to introduce to you. Please click like and subscribe to the channel to follow for the next videos on Lango. If you have any requests for specific videos, do not hesitate to leave your comment below. I hope you found this lesson helpful in preparing for your IELTS test. If you want to sign up for IELTS courses at Lango, click on the link below. These IELTS courses are designed to cater to individual needs and provide personalized learning pathways. Remember to like, share and subscribe for more videos. I'm Lavan from Lango Learning System. See you next time.